So we have our final budget for FY20, which was 41.64 billion dollars. So we got a pretty significant increase over last year, almost 6%. And so some of our special initiatives that you guys are familiar with got increases, such as the Brain Initiative, um, Alzheimer's Research, Childhood Cancer Data. And we also, for the first time in quite a long time, got some funding specifically for firearms mortality research. Um, and so our office and the Office of External Research as a whole have been working on the funding opportunity announcements for that initiative, and those are with HHS right now and will hopefully be coming out soon so we can get that funding issued as well. Um, we've also issued our fiscal policy and legislative mandates updates for FY20, so we're ready to go for the rest of the fiscal year. So why was NIH so late issuing that salary cap guidance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we got lots of questions about that one. Um, yeah, we, I'm asking. <laughs> we, have, we clear our salary cap, legislative mandates, fiscal policies, all of that gets cleared through the department, which can take some time, especially when we make um, minor changes to the guide notice. What minor change did we make to that guide notice that created such a, a, a long review process? So if you have an eagle eye, you might have noticed that there was a little sentence that was missing this year that's typically included, which is that um, additional funds will not be awarded to support any increases in salary based on the salary cap. So what does that mean? Will we provide increases now? And when does that increase take effect? So the increase in the salary cap was effective January 5th, 2020. Um, and so some of the ICs had come to Opera and said, you know, we've made awards earlier this fiscal year and we cut based on the previous salary cap, but folks might need additional funds to start supporting that salary cap as of the January 15th. And so the reason we took that sentence out of the guide notice was to give ICs the flexibility when they have the funds available to provide additional funding for recipients that might need it to cover that increase. So the question that I have, and I know my colleagues here have is, can we charge that higher level prior to January 5th? No. <laughs> <laughs> the salary cap is based on I the OPM. I told you all the questions <laughs> <answer that. laughs> It's based on the OPM executive um, salary levels, and the effective date for the changes in those is January 5th. So it would not be allowable to charge that higher level prior to the January 5th. Date. Not even rebudgeting, guys. Okay. But going forward, anything after January 5th, you can go all the way up to that new cap. Uh, Perfect. Can we talk to me about the stipend levels real quickly? Yes. So in addition to posting our salary cap guide notice, we also issued a guide notice updating the NRSA stipend levels. And so those also saw a pretty significant increase this year. So typically the past several years have spent about a 2% increase. Um, but based on the recommendations we got from the National Academy of Sciences, NIH actually pushed this year for a bigger increase. And so for postdocs, the increase is about 4 to 5% on average in each category.